In this video, you'll discover how to make an intricate pattern illustration. The first color is French Ultramarine. And I also use Cadmium Yellow, Green and Purple colors. In addition, Windsor Red and Windsor Blue green shade colors can be added. It is a good idea to test the chosen colors on a separate piece of watercolor paper in order to see how they compare with one another and look together. I would like to test the difference between Cadmium Yellow and Cadmium Yellow Deep. As suggested by its name, the Cadmium Yellow Deep has a deeper colour than the Cadmium Yellow, so I will use it for this artwork. Cadmium Yellow Deep comes with a richer and darker colour because, in addition to the yellow pigment, PY35, it also contains a bit of orange pigment, PO20. The purpose of this lesson is to learn how different colours look in one artwork, and also to practice paintbrush handling by accurately filling different shapes with uniform tone single colours. In this pattern, the yellow colour will only be used for stars. There won't be any other yellow elements here. I will now paint the star in the middle in a red colour. This is a single pigment paint. PR254 is a very intense red pigment. Unfortunately, not many manufacturers produce such a red paint. One of them is Windsor and Newton. This paint is very light fast, which means that it will not fade after being exposed for thousands of hours to direct sunlight or UV light. Also, it is highly staining and semi-opaque and has a small drying shift, meaning that the hue of the colour and its value will both not change much when the paint dries. I am painting with the Kalinsky Sable round brush from Escoda. The star in the middle is the only red element in this design. It is time to now add the blue colour, which is the Windsor blue green shade from Windsor and Newton. PB15 pigment also called Fatalo Blue, is a deep, intense blue with a green undertone. So far, this design looks a bit flat. To enhance its appearance, I add drop shadows to some elements. To make such shadows, I first apply clean water with a flat, small brush, and then add more blue pigment with a small, round brush. I do this only in the corners, so that they look darker and a bit more three-dimensional. I then apply the same treatment for other blue cells. Finally, I add drop shadows in places where white lines overlap each other.